What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how I turn 100k worth of crypto assets into productive assets and why I'm leveraging it using uh, my beefy farms and my QDAO farms. If you guys have never heard of these protocols, highly recommend you guys look into them after you guys watch this video. So let's go. All right. So in this video, we're going to go over turning regular tokens that you buy into productive assets, an overview, beefy finance, overview of QDAO, and some of the underlying risks about these protocols. And if you're doing this, what you should know about it, essentially. So most of the times when you're on like Coinbase and you're buying crypto assets, uh, say, such as Bitcoin, you're hoping that it will appreciate in value over time, essentially, right? Um, what's really cool in the last two years is a thing called DeFi farming and it's something that I really want to go into more in this channel and why I think uh, crypto in general is like a huge, it's just changing a lot of things, right? So instead of just parking your Bitcoin and hoping it goes up in value, you can put your Bitcoin into these protocols where they you kind of lend it and they trade it, they do things with it, but in return, they give you more tokens back or to give you rewards right so instead of having a just a regular asset you're basically lending it out and turning it into a productive asset right and that's what i do with a lot of my crypto and this video like i said i'm gonna show you how i did it with 100 grand worth of crypto so it, this is a little bit more advanced because it does combine a couple different protocols so overview of beefy i guess to show you guys first this is like the bots that like i'm invested into so I'm in the Beefy Scream Phantom, right? So this is like, Beefy is one protocol, Scream is another protocol, and FTM is Phantom, my token that I put in the Beefy Scream protocol. Same thing with this, Beefy is a protocol, Scream is a protocol, Link is a protocol. Uh, I won't be able to access Scream on this video, but Scream.sh is the site that you guys can go to to see what Scream itself is. Um, and understand the risks around that, right? So I have uh, three assets, uh, Phantom, my Chainlink, and my Bitcoin all parked inside of these areas. And then I also have my beefy tokens here where I park it inside of QDAO. So to backtrack one step, before even getting the items into um, QDAO, my finance, what I did, so with example, my each of these, I'll go through like what the APRs look like so you guys can understand what kind of yield I'm getting on it, right? So with my Phantom tokens, I'm in the, oh, okay, that's not gonna be the best way. Phantom, so I like to do single staking because I don't want to deal with impermanent loss. Um, if you guys don't know what impermanent loss, uh, you guys are smart people, you guys can Google that. I'm not gonna dive into that right now. But basically, instead of my Phantom parking it and hoping it appreciates, what I do is I deposit it into this beefy Scream farm, right? So beefy is using a protocol called Scream and Scream is lending it out and rewarding its users in Scream. But what beefy automatically does is when it lends out my Phantom, it also sells the Scream to buy more Phantom for me and it auto compounds it, right? So beefy is an auto compounder because if you were doing it manually, you would have to get your Scream tokens by yourself every single day sell the tokens on another exchange and then buy more phantom with it so beefy automatically does that for me i like beefy i think it's one of the more trusted protocols i'm not going to say there's no risk but i would say the risk is on the lower end of things they've never been hacked i really like their discord i'm pretty active in it and once you join the discord you can kind of see the community right and understand like what they're building how active they are on top of things and how they manage risk which is always really important in DeFi. So in this one, I'm getting 10.33% APY per year, right? So which isn't bad. So off of the, the 50 grand that I have in there, you can expect an APY of 0.1, right? So for an extra 5,300 bucks a year, right? So not too bad, better than it sitting there doing nothing and me just hoping like the token goes up in price. If the token goes up in price, it still gets compounded, right? On that 10%, so it doesn't hurt. And then another one I'm also in is the link pool. Let's see. So this is the link one. So this one's at 23% APR, right? So this one, you'll see that my 25 grand worth of link tokens times 0.25 is generating me another 6,300 bucks, right? And I'm hoping 
the price of link is going to appreciate so it doesn't hurt right and then you can and then i'm also in the wpt bcc pool this one's generating 15 percent, right so uh, bitcoin is actually one of my lower holdings now i don't really use it i, I had more bitcoin but recently with how i've been seeing like the whole ecosystem building and growing i don't think bitcoin is as valuable anymore it the narrative is like it's still a store of value but i don't know if it's like the best store of value relative to all these other things and the opportunity cost of just holding bitcoin versus everything else but to know that i get an extra 2300 bucks you know it's not too bad and then 2000 bucks sometimes i like to like see like how much money that is daily right and i'm like okay that could buy me like my coffee or pay for my boba or whatever it is so it doesn't hurt and then beefy token is basically this protocol's token and i like it because there's a fixed supply of beefy tokens i can't remember if, if it's like ten thousand or a hundred thousand but because there's a fixed supply similar to bitcoin it means it's a deflationary asset right so in the long run the value of this token will most likely only go up right because Compared to some other tokens in the space, they're inflationary, me meaning where they can like print, right? Just like the Fed and all that, like the US government and just like print more tokens, causing the price to go down. So, and then I have my beefy on Phantom and I'm in the beefy maxi pool and that's generating me 24% APY. So on that, so 5,253 times point, was it 25, right? Yeah, so I'm generating about 1,300, right? So, you know, it's not that much because like the stack is lower, the like the holding amount is lower, but still at the very end of the day, like that's still another 3.6 bucks-ish a day. And I'm hoping this token will appreciate in value, right? So the way I get it to QDAO is like you deposit it in Beefy first. And the cool thing about DeFi is like, this didn't, didn't exist like two months ago. So QDAO is another platform that was native to Polygon. And what they did is they allow you to put leverage your productive assets, right? So before in the space in DeFi, like all these protocols, you were only able to put in, say like Phantom by itself, Link by itself or BTC by itself. And the issue with that was you weren't putting it to work, right? So I like putting my tokens to work and then I can actually leverage these protocols for extra money, right? So as you can see, off this 53,000, I'm borrowing uh, 7,000. And then 25, off this 25,000, I'm borrowing 6,000. Off of this 15,000, I'm borrowing 3,500. And off this beefy, I'm borrowing 1,600. And I, in my terms, the way I do leverage, I do it pretty safe. So you can see these ratios are really healthy. The higher, the better. So when it comes to, say you wanted to do a beefy maxi pool, you would just go onto here, you would hit create. And these are all the different vaults that, that you can do. And you want to make sure there's my available. So my is like the stable coin of the my finance QDAO protocol. It's similar to like USDC, MIM, UST or other stable coins and you would just hit create vault right and once you hit create the vault what you'll see is you'll see it pop up like this and then you can add it so for example for this one I added like 53,000 worth of phantom and the way I leveraged it right is like um, you would hit this borrow thing and you can kind of move it around right so what's nice is they put a token number of when you would get liquidated. If it goes to that number or below, you lose your money, right? So essentially when it comes to leverage, it's only, it's more, it's riskier, uh, but I like to do it at a very, very safe price, right? So, and how do I pick that, right? Which is important. So let's do coin gecko phantom. I'll we'll put the max chart. So <laughs> rule number one, leverage, never get liquidated. Don't ever get liquidated. That's the goal, right? So for me, I will only get liquidated if it drops to 0.48 cents for Phantom. So in general, I'm bullish on Phantom. I don't think it'll ever drop below 48 cents, but the last time it was below 48 cents was August, right? Before the initial pump. And the market cap at this time was, let's see, at this time was like 1 billion. I don't think Phantom is going to drop 
5x at all because i'm like bullish for it so when it comes to picking like different leverage spots i try to pick like a very extreme low that i think will n never happen right so if you want to be more aggressive right you could do like this and you can get more my about twenty three thousand dollars but if it drops below 202 then i'm fucked right so and then as you can see like the price has dropped below two dollars before and very recently so i would say that's a riskier move but like say we're looking at like support lines i would say like 97 cents is a support line maybe about a dollar 28 is a support line too so you want to choose different support lines that you're comfortable with with and because i'm not trying to like really go aggressive what i did was i did 48 cents and to give like say like another example i would say a good example is say beefy all right so let's look up beefy so for me on this one my liquidation price is 600 dollars and why did i choose 600 dollars? so historically looking at beefy's price right you can see that uh, the lowest it gets is like 700 bucks um, I have my camera in front of me blocking the screen a little bit. Uh, and see like a thousand here, a thousand here, 700. So I just don't think it'll drop that low um, again. So that's how I chose it, right? So you want to choose like the very bottom common support line areas if you're going to do any sort of leverage. And I think same thing with say, let's do chain link. Looking at that one, I'm at like $10, right? I don't think... With Chainlink's narrative, I don't think it would dip below ten dollars. And the nice thing to look at is like with Chainlink, Chainlink, it was like deeply affected by the bear market. I would say earlier this year. And the lowest, I would say, this is like before that initial pump, but like this entire year, the lowest during that bear market is it went to like fourteen sixty one. So I chose a number like even lower ten dollars because I don't think it will ever reach that point essentially. So that's what I do with my money. Right, so I put it on Beefy and then I leverage it on Q, Q Dow, and so this hundred grand is I am using it to get seven, three, five, six, plus six nine zero six. Sorry, I just got a new keyboard, um, and oh, the other camera cut out, so I'm adjusting to it. So three thousand five hundred plus one six one five. So I get another 20 grand, I'm leveraging off to 100 grand, right? So th this 19,000, basically, you can put it in anything you want, right? I choose to just like park it in stable coins, right? Because that's just like, stable coins are just gonna be, I don't have to care if the price fluctuates. I know if I put it into a farm that generates at a 20% APY, that's gonna be another 3,875 bucks. And it's just like, it just grows, right? And it grows safely. Right, so I'm a little bit more safe with my leverage when it comes to all this, but that's my strategy, right? So I just think that by me sharing this, you guys, it might help one person out there dive into this, be more comfortable with it. And you never know, maybe one of you guys can teach me like a better Lego stack um, than QDAO or Beefy. Um, but that's what I'm doing with my money and I hope this video helps you guys. See you guys around.